Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm making this YouTube video to show this vintage Sears boombox. I intend to put it up on eBay, so the purpose of this video is to show that it works and uh, just to show its condition. That's a really cool unit, and uh, as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. Can I give a little tour here of it? Um, little scratches and, and dings and nicks that you would expect with its age, but uh, overall in good condition. Um, we do have a little bit of a bent up corner here, uh, just slight delamination uh, right there, this, this metal speaker surround. Uh, it's really about the most severe, uh, probably, piece of damage on it. Uh, otherwise, it's in really, really good condition. Uh, take a look at all the sides here. A little bit of dust and dirt probably in some crevices, but uh, overall pretty pretty clean. Uh, this was cool because it was made in Japan. Uh, don't know the exact year, but uh, I'm guessing this is probably uh, mid-80s. Um, take a look here at the battery compartment. A little dusty in there, but uh, everything uh, is as it should be. Uh, no battery acid, uh, very clean, clean compartment there. And then we have, let's see if I can turn this a little bit here, um, your left and your right microphone and your left and your right speaker output and then a headphones and then of course um, your AC and uh, DC. I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit on here, take a look at the top first. Uh, we've got uh, your basic volume, tone, and balance controls, um, your buttons for your cassette. This does have an active pause feature, so when you're listening to cassette, you push this down and hold it to pause while you're changing out uh, your cassette or doing a recording. Um, over here, you've got your selector knobs for stereo mono and then uh, selector between fm am and tape and inside of those uh, switches it's a little hard to see it's actually felt uh, felt in here so kind of a cool touch um, and a little bit of paint speckling on the top but but overall in good shape uh, antenna not bent up works just as it should so I'm going to turn this on here and uh, we'll give it a listen. I'm just going to put the radio on. And turn this down here. Got a little bit of static at times with the, uh, the volume control. Not too much, but a little bit. And uh, tone control. how well the balance is going to pick up with this, but we'll try it. And uh, we'll tune into a couple stations here. E250. As you're saying, Danny, a lot of babies give it a little are extra volume here. Call retirement regret. They feel they should have done more earlier on. Can you tell so you can me see some it's pretty clear at high volume. Your clients, what do they think? Tunes in nicely. Five million fully staffed with chiropractic and uh, we'll go AM. Speak. So right off the top, the other things around your property. And uh, back to FM here. And uh, I've got the stereo mono, mono, stereo. And uh, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to grab a cassette. Uh, I apologize, I only have one cassette and it's not very boombox worthy. It's actually an old Christmas cassette, but nonetheless, uh, we'll give it a shot. Just one second. Okay, I've loaded a cassette here. Again, I apologize, we're just listening to some old Christmas music here, but hit play. And uh, you can hear that it works. See that it spins. Got the counter working down here. This is the pause. You hold it down, release, 
and uh, show that it forwards, rewinds, and uh, we'll go ahead and eject the tape here. One thing to, uh, to note, uh, there is a missing sticker in here, a little bit of residue. Um, I'm imagining it was probably an auto stop or some sort of a logo insignia from Sears. Um, unfortunately, that's missing. So, not too much more to say. It's a cool looking unit, very well built, metal handle in good condition for its age, and uh, built in Japan, very serviceable. Um, you can take it apart, you can actually repair it, uh, replace speakers, replace components on the circuit board if you need to. Uh, this definitely is one to last and it's got a good iconic look, um, retro if you will. Uh, happy bidding and thanks for watching.